Hi, my name is Pat Magai from Canon Instrument Company, and today I'd like to introduce you to our TESC Low Temperature Rotational Viscometer System. The TESC is a new fully automated apparatus for measuring low temperature rotational viscosity for gear oils and automatic transmission fluids in accord with ASTM D2983. ASTM has recently added a new procedure D to the method for this automated technique. It is fully unattended during the entire 17 plus hour test cycle, automating everything from preheating to the cooling cycle and then stepping through all of the speeds and recording the viscosity in the viscometer's memory. This effectively eliminates operator to operator variability and greatly improves precision. In a recent ASTM round robin interlaboratory study, the precision of the TESC was found to be nearly two times better in repeatability and reproducibility over the manual procedures. The concept for our technology was to develop an affordable benchtop apparatus with built-in solid state cooling, which minimizes the amount of required linear bench space. This allows the customers an opportunity to set up multiple units side by side, taking up less bench space than the traditional D2983 apparatus. This added redundancy reduces laboratory downtime should an individual instrument need to be calibrated or require maintenance. It also allows multiple test temperatures to be run simultaneously. Because it is fully programmable, our engineers developed a shorter six-hour test sequence which shows very strong correlation to the longer test cycle in D2983. This shorter cycle is defined in a new test method, ASTM D8210, and is useful for rapid screening in formulation development. We've also found other applications where accurate thermal conditioning of the sample is important, so the TESC can be used in general rotational viscosity applications at temperatures anywhere between minus 40 degrees C and plus 100 degrees C. To learn more about our TESC viscometer system, please visit our website at www.canoninstrument.com.